So you have purchased a buy to let property, but you now want to enter the transactions into Xero. How do you do it? Well, watch this video as I show you how. So as the intro suggested, we are now going to enter the purchase property that you have onto Xero. And what you might be faced with is this particular completion statement. And the first thing that I would introduce to you is that you might have a bunch of fees, which is including the stamp duty land tax, the purchase of the property and the solicitor's fees, etc. And what we're going to do is focus just to keep things really simple for this example, that we're going to assume that the total value is 331,255. And out of that, we've got the uh, mortgage value of 243,750. And we've got a direct loan account, which is the deposit from yourself of 87,505. Now, how do you enter that into zero? Well, we need to hop over to zero now. And what we're gonna do is go to our contacts because we want to create a supplier for the property in question. I'm gonna show you why that's the case in a second, but let's go into contacts and then look at all contacts. We're going to create a new contact just on the right hand side here. So let's create that add contact just right there. And what we're going to do is call this one, two, three main, and we're going to call this main road. Okay, so what we're going to do is just we could complete all the relevant details in here, but I'm going to keep it really, really simple and just click on save. That will now create that account for 123 Main Road. I'm going to click on the new button. What I want to do is create a bill. So I'm just going to highlight that. That's a bill under new because it's going to be an invoice for the property. So I'm going to click on bill right there. And now it's what it's done is given me the main road just there. It's got the date, due date. Uh, as well as the date. I'm just going to put in the same dates. I'm not going to do anything more complicated than that. But one thing you'll notice on here is that I've got a description. So I'm going to put in uh, 123 Main Road Building. And what we're going to do is just put that as one. The unit price, interesting enough, will be my total. So I'm going to just enter for simplicity the 331255. So let's put that into here. So that's 331255. And then that goes against an account. It has to be allocated to an account. So I'm just going to type in buildings. Now, by default, you'll notice that Xero has already got an account. But if it hasn't, then you will need to create an account for yourself. Click on buildings and then you'll notice that it will sometimes try and put 20% VAT. There is no VAT, so we just need to select no VAT on that transaction. And now all of a sudden, and by the way, you can change the amounts of no tax there as well. And that'll just take it off there. Once you've done that, you'll notice that the 331255 balances nicely against this line here. So what we're going to do is click on approve now and then that will put that invoice nicely away. Now, this has now got this particular transaction going on. So if I go now into contacts, and then all contacts, you will see that 123 main road is in there. Now, it is there, that's the total amount. So I'm gonna click onto that. And what I'm gonna do, there are two ways of doing this. I can create a director's loan account in Xero, or I can just allocate a payment. What I would be saying to you right now is make sure that you set up your bank accounts properly. I'm gonna click on dashboard on the top left hand corner. And one thing I'm gonna do is just create, I haven't got a direct loan account, so what I'm gonna do is just create a direct loan account in the banking right here. So I'm gonna click on accounting and then bank accounts. Once I've done that, I can then create a new bank account, which I'm gonna do right here. And it's going to ask me to select. So I don't really want to do that. I just want to kind of do my own thing, if that makes sense. So I'm going to just choose anyone, just to get it done. Now, what I'm going to do is just say, okay, bank account name. I'm going to call this director's loan account. Now, you'll notice I'm not going to tie this up to any particular uh, 
activity at all. Sort code uh, can be 0, 0, 0, 0, just to get the numbers in. I don't really want to be tying this against a specific bank account. It's just a dummy bank account so I can track how much money I've put into this. And you'll notice now I've got a direct loan account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in a force the transaction to allocate against that. So I can do it this way where I can go into my contacts, all contacts, click on main road right there. And what I'm going to do is then go to bill approved and I want to pay it. So I'm going to click on that just down here. Okay, that's now brought me to this particular invoice. Now I'm going to allocate an account. Now you'll notice if I press direct loan account, it now appears. My bank account now appears, which is my dummy account. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to put in the transaction date, the 20th of January 2020 and the amount I'm going to put in is the same amount that I want to show from the completion statement and as a reminder that is 87505 so I'm going to click on 87505 and that was paid on the 20th of January I'm okay with that I'm going to add the payment to that particular invoice now one thing you'll notice if I now go back to contacts and all contacts and then click on the 123 Main Road, you'll see that 123 Main Road has a balance now of 243,750, which is outstanding. Now, I have already set up a, an account for this mortgage. So now I have gone into the bank rec for this mortgage. And one thing you'll notice straight away is that it's got Lloyd's TSB 123 Main Road purchase, and it's got the value there. Now, interestingly enough, I'm now going to allocate, there's the invoice straight away. But what I want to do is just make sure it's the right one. I can see it's the right one, but as a safeguard, I always do a find and match, and then it makes sure it brings up all the things I'm looking for. So I do a search by reference, so main road may be the thing I'm looking for. Press go, and there it is. There's my 243,750. I'm now going to click on reconcile, and then confirm that. Now that's the completion statement added on to but I want to check that these details are indeed correct. So I'm going to go into my balance sheet. One thing I've just noticed is on this account, it's got the last year and so I'm going to click on today and then update the balance sheet itself. And you'll notice that the buildings now has got 331,255 correct it's also got the um, bank account which is showing the outstanding balances as well so this now all ties back nicely there's a direct loan account and in amongst that it's got an advanced account as well so that's how you enter your completion statement onto zero